Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about expeditions and guild quests. So first up, what is an expedition? Well, if you've played Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, then expeditions are very similar to the free hunts you were able to go on. But in the event you haven't played that, then an expedition is a quest set in the Everwood where you have no prior knowledge of the map, the layouts will differ each time you load in, and monsters can and will appear throughout. There are no fail conditions, so you can die as many times as you like and take as long as you like as there is also no timer. And once you've had enough, you can either end it from the menu or you can reach the cart at the end, which I'll explain more about in a moment. Hunting monsters will net you caravan points, which are the points you use to multiply items at Waikoon, as well as the points you spend to upgrade various village options. So they are something you always want to have. Now before I go into detail on what you can actually do on an expedition, let's take a look at how we actually get there. On your bottom screen, the touch screen, if you bring up your map, you will see a blue seal or stamp icon. This is an expedition. Mine is currently sparkling, which actually indicates that I have a rare expedition. This just means that in this rarer ecosphere, special monsters can be hunted and there's also the chance to more easily find valuable items. I'll speak more about how you increase your chances of getting a rare expedition at the end of this video, but for now, let's take a look at what this screen tells us. First and foremost, on the left, it lists the monsters that are known to appear in the expedition. A total of 5 monsters can spawn throughout if you stick around long enough, but the known ones are listed. So in this case, Najarala and Kechawacha. Then on the right hand side, it lists the environment, which is currently unstable. This means there's a chance that monsters not listed on the left have a chance of appearing. The next line states whether there is a treasure area located which allows you to find potentially rare items. The wild palico section tells you whether there is a wild palico somewhere in the expedition that you can scout, and then sometimes this option will be replaced by Poogie, which means you have a chance of finding a Poogie roaming around with a special costume, which you can then change in your house. And then lastly, equipment bias indicates the equipment you're most likely to find from relics should you find them on your travels. So, that's what you need to know before we set off, now let's begin. When you start your expedition, you'll begin in the base camp. Unlike normal quests, there's no blue box, but instead there are three locations you can gather items from. Right behind you, over to the right, and over to the left. You can gather twice from each of these, and they have a chance of giving you potions, rations, and sometimes even items like bombs. But once you're all set, you've got your items ready, then you set off. Now that you're actually on your expedition, don't just make a beeline straight for the monsters. There's plenty to do. You can gather from plants, mine for ores, catch bugs, and even gather from random piles of debris hoping to find something cool. Then, as mentioned, if it's listed on the card, you have a chance to encounter a wild palico, speak to it and you can scout it, and then hire it at the end of the quest. Eventually, when you progress through different areas, you'll stumble across one of the listed monsters, or if you're really unlucky, both of them at once. You can fight it, or you can run away, it's up to you, but if you've come this far, you may as well kill it. Once you kill the monster, you'll be awarded with caravan points. The harder the monster, the more points. Plus, killing this monster also increases your chance of getting a guild quest, which I'll speak about at the end of this video. Having killed the monster, you now have options. Remember, you have no time limit, so if you want to get the most out of an expedition, you should stick around for a while. The longer you hang around, the more monsters you can encounter. And most importantly, you are on an expedition. Explore, climb stuff, it's awesome. But once you've had enough, progress through the areas until you reach the caravan. At this point, you can use this to end the quest. It's always best to end through this as opposed to the menu as you net yourself some additional caravan points for doing so, but just before you leave, speak to the old man over here. You'll find him in regular quests as well, sometimes he trades items with you, sometimes he just gives you items, either way, it's free stuff, why not take it? Once you're done, interact with the caravan and head home. At the end of the quest, you'll collect your rewards like usual, hire your palico if you scouted one, and then you'll be taken to this, your results screen. The rare eco discovery rate increases each time you complete an expedition, the higher the rate, the more chance of a rare expedition. And now, the other key thing about expeditions is something I mentioned earlier, guild quests. As I said, killing large monsters gives you a very good chance of being awarded a guild quest at the end. Collecting shiny drops from monsters also increases that chance, so it's always good to hunt monsters and collect shinies. And in this case, seeing as we killed Najarala, I got a guild quest, hunt a Yankuk Ku. So return to town, and now we can take advantage of that. If you open your menu, go to page 2 and scroll down to guild quests, on the bottom screen it lists the guild quests you currently have. In order to be able to go on these quests, you need to register them. And once you've registered it, it disappears from the list. I currently have 4 here, so for the time being I'll just register this level 1 Velocidrome. Tick the box, hit register and now head over to the gathering hall. Speak to the quest lady and select the guild quest option. From here you can see I can now go out and hunt a Velocidrome. 
and this is how you are able to hunt those rare monsters that don't appear in your usual quests, Yankaku being another example. And there you have it, that is a quick run through of some of the awesome things you can get up to while out on an expedition. They are definitely worth doing and they are a hell of a lot more fun than the free hunts used to be back in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, so be sure to give them a shot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it helpful, and as always if you did, don't forget to leave a like and hit that thumbs up button down below, and if you're not already part of the Arax Gaming Nation, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been out on expeditions, and if so, have you ever found anything cool or anything rare from there? And thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.